Hello everyone, I'm Next Step Nick, and today we're going to play a bit of World of Horror. So this is a pre-release beta that's out now on the Xbox Game Pass. Looks kind of spooky, uh, has real Junji Ito style vibes going on with some horror in here. Looks pretty cool, so shall we get started? We'll see how it plays. Would you like to customise your next playthrough's look? The mini car palettes. Uh, if we randomise for example, oh, oh I don't know. I don't know. I like, I like the white and the colour. I think. Um, let's do because I feel like one bit. You're kind of losing stuff a little bit. Let's do. Let's do two bit. We'll do it like that. That looks nice, doesn't it? There we go. We'll go for the real classic feel there. Uh, continue. It's your first time playing World of Horror. I recommended you to that you start with the spine-chilling story of School Scissors option before trying more complex playthroughs. Okay, uh, might as well, let's give it a go. A tiny section of a standard playthrough showcasing one of the available mysteries. Okay, give it a go. I think they've done a really good job here with the art, uh, the artistic style, the artistic choices. It looks nice, it looks really, really good. I like that kind of old-school animation as well. I really like this kind of pixelation. Both figures can be seen gathering in the woods. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorising the seaside. Tourists. Call them tourists, where I'm from. Uh, I've had technological progress in Morgan Air and comfort, but also new unknown threats like problems like screen tearing and X face people and phones that need cell tape. Oh gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awaking as reality starts to crumble. Well, they'll do that. Um. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across your city and in realms beyond. Sounds cool. Yeah, I think this art style is really nice. They've done a really good job here. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you've finally arrived in Doomtown. Oh, in the Doomtown. I was going to say, that's an unfortunate name. You're asking for trouble if you name your town something like that. Oh. I, I think I clicked on something by accident there. Poor messages will appear here. Okay, uh, story so far. Find a weird cult, barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag at the nursery. It's a race against time, and you can't. I think I've skipped something by accident. Um, okay, uh, let's just go for it. We'll see how we get on. A boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. That's creepy. That's really creepy. You need your phone was up to something when you left you a notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. Ritual that can stop the wicked woman. What's the worst thing that could happen? Well, you could die. But yeah, it look it looks cool. I like the art style a lot. Actually, this is really reminiscent of old school gaming. And I don't. I think the important thing as well is it's not hurting my eyes, which sounds really silly. But I think a lot of games that go with the old school aesthetic tend to they don't realise how much that hurts people's eyes. Okay, you're missing friends after your notebook. If rumours are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear. You need the drawing of an eldritch sigil and then the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. I hope he's I hope he's left his sigil somewhere. Uh, let's explore the school. Investigating library. It's a cute little chibi version of my oh. Inside an old anatomical model, its heart is beating. The sight makes you sick. Resolve this event. You break its heart and kick it. If that's something that's horrible happening in the school, you must hurry and find those items. Quest chalk not found, holy candles not found. I guess we keep exploring. Um, yeah, okay. The chibi him is kind of out of place. Oh god, that's really horrific, isn't it? I'll be your new biology teacher. Could you help me move stuff to my new office? It is generally quite creepy, isn't it? Let's not go with appearances. Let's help her. Luck check. The creepy substitute. Hand you some old books. Among them, you find one called Extinction of Mankind. You shudder, feeling the teacher's gaze on your back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like the way that we immediately found the creepiest teacher. Uh, oh, we can peek outside. Let's peek outside. We found an additional page from your friend's diary. The waste of chalk was left on the roof. Click on the handle and drag. Okay, this is going to be... Yep, that's going to be creepy, isn't it? <laughs> You shouldn't risk that again. Yeah, it's generally making me smile because it is quite eerie, isn't it? It's generally... Yeah, that's very creepy. I like... Wow, that's pretty amazing. I'm really a fan of this eerie horror. 
I don't like being made to jump. I like stuff that puts me on edge. Creepy stuff, you know? Instead of a clear blue sky, you see a bloated corpse of an unforgotten deity looming over the school's roof. It's good that you can tell. The barrier between worlds is coming apart. You must hurry or risk being noticed by whatever other eldritch horrors still lurk here. Let's try to sneak. Oh, you fail. I need your head and time to see Asyazilov's single eye. I hope I said that right. Going down at you, you scream as your mind is flooded with within knowledge and your skin is etched with ancient rooms and curses. 20 more experience, but also you gained the curse. Oh, that's unlucky, isn't it? You found blessed chalk. Okay, you can copy the scissors as best you can. Hopefully it'll be enough. Uh, don't we need to get something else? Look at my eye now. I've got this freaky pattern on my eye. It's a it's a really good and generally quite creepy game though. Right, so we need. What did we need again? Let's have a look. Uh, okay, friend's diary. Hidden the candles. Oh, the candles. We need the candles. Okay, let's go find the candles. I really like this though. I'm getting quite into this. I think, again, though, this is just a sign that you don't need top-tier graphics to do something really eerie and creepy. Because this is generally making me quite creeped out, but I'm really enjoying it. Impossible angles and seemingly moving lines make your head spin. Um, Staring disbelief needs Ikumi ally. I'm assuming that means we're going to edit it in some way. Let's do that. Uh, we, we can't. Oh! How is this possible? Minus one reason. Okay. Sound of scissors is getting louder. That's oh, that's quite unnerving, isn't it? I'm generally a bit creeped out. Oh, oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. You've run into park guest. Oh god, it's like a spotty titan. Found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them. Everything is ready for the ritual. Well, let's do it then. Perform the ritual. You should miss that again. Wait, what's that? Oh no. Oh, it's genuinely quite unnerving, isn't it? Look at that. I think there's something really eerily wonderful about horror that puts you on edge, like body horror that makes you a bit unsettled. I love that kind of fear, you know? I like to feel on edge and unsettled. I don't like to be made jump. Just I feel like jumpy horror is kind of cheap. Whereas atmospheric horror that makes you tense is just, it unsettles you. It's its stuff like this where it's grounded in reality. You can see where the kind of human stops, but you can't, your brain can't really fathom what you're looking at. And I think that's what makes it creepy. Uh, am I beautiful? Yes, you are. Let's kill her. Oh, there was a little sun there. That was cute. A demon woman enters the classroom cackling menacingly. Am I beautiful? Well, kind of, I suppose. Uh, oh. Yep, she's quite freaky for the combat sequence. White bar with moves and click launch sequence to attack your enemy. Okay, um... Defensive actions, spiritual actions, uh... Right, prepare your attack. Next attack is... Uh, let's do... Well, that's two damage. We haven't got a weapon, have we? Let's do that. Let's do this. We'll raise the power of our punch. And then we'll punch. Can we hit? Have we not got enough points? Can we remove that? Uh, let's try that again. Because what we really want to do is do a lot of damage. Uh, right. I think what we're going to do is we are going to make sure our attack hits. Next attack is guaranteed to hit. Boom, 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 boom to raise the damage. Yeah, we should be able to do quite a lot then. So, next tax guaranteed to hit. 110. No, we can't. That's strange. Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong... F Wait, no. Am I clicking on the wrong thing? No, I'm not. That's strange. Uh, let's do that again. Attack boost. And a kick. No, again, it's not... Strange. Maybe I'm misunderstanding this. Maybe it's probably me. Kick. Kick. Yeah, two kicks. Let's do that. He kicks this woman for two. She stabs me. Oh. <laughs> That's probably a bit more effective than what I'm doing. Uh, okay, have we got any spells? We have. Clap. Most combats are five bows and claps. Even if you don't get it right, you'll be provided with a hint. Okay. Um, we might as well do that, I guess. Let's do bow, clap, 
bow, bow, clap. Let's give it a go. Nothing happens. You think you got one ritual move right? Oh, that's not. Um, bow, clap, 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 bow, bow. Let's try that. And I think you got four ritual moves right. Okay, bow, clap, clap, bow, clap. Let's try that out. Oh, that picture in the corner is getting quite eerie as well of us getting beaten up. Right, so it's bow. Right, we were doing bow, clap, clap, bow, clap. So let's do bow, bow, clap, clap, clap. Two ritual moves, right? This isn't working, is it? Bow, clap, 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 bow was what we did before, wasn't it? Let's try that out again. I've forgotten what I was doing! Oh no. Oh! That's quite unnerving, isn't it? Oh! And the game closes. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's try that again. Oh, and it's disappeared. Strange. Is this? I'm I'm still on edge because I'm worrying that what I'm doing now. I've actually I've blanked this out now just so you can't see all my desktop. I was worried that going through my menus was part of the game. That was pretty good. That was really I enjoyed that. Let's give that another go. I like things that break the fourth wall like that. It's doing a really good job of putting me on edge. Really enjoying it, actually. Let's do this again. Oh, this time I'm ready. I know what to expect. Two bit. Uh... Oh, the red's a bit much, isn't it? There we go. Continue. I like the muted a bit. Right, let's go again. Don't worry, I know about this this time. I wonder if it's going to be the same. Uh, we know the story so far, but let's start the mystery straight off. Okay. Let's investigate the mystery. Now, is it going to be different this time? Are we going to see different things? Yeah, it looks like we do. Find an old trophy case set in a seemingly abandoned corridor. Everything inside is covered in a thick layer of dust. One medal seems valuable. Uh, should we have a look? Let's have a look. Luck check. You find a small trophy with a curious plaque. Grand champion of the cannibal eating contest. Minus two reason. That's unfortunate. But something is terrible is happening. We know. Let's keep exploring. You were stopped by a girl you haven't seen in months. But how could you? She died in that. Oh, no. It's really unnerving, isn't it? Uh, okay. We've got another chance to practice our combat, though. She's so freaky looking. Why is everything so freaky looking? Let's give it a go. What's that? Okay, um, let's try clap, bow, bow, clap, clap. I'm going to keep sticking with this because I want to see what happens if we get it right. Clap, clap, bow, bow, clap. Right. Um, clap, bow, clap, bow, clap. Let's try that out. Oh, okay. That didn't work. Let's just go with kicking her, because I feel like if we get a weapon, we can just kick her a lot. Let's kick her a lot. Minus two health. Keep going. Right, let's keep kicking her. Kick her again. You punched all the girl. Turn six begins. Yeah, see, I thought this increased your damage. Additional 10% chance to hit. Oh, okay, I thought that was damage. Oh, I've mis been misreading that. Kick, kick, kick. Let's just kick her a lot then. I'm doing kick, but it says punch. But it's okay, it's okay. We're doing well. We'll beat her. We'll beat her. We'll kick her in the face. Yeah! Take that, stalker girl. Unlucky. You're still an evil, scary ghost, but we've won now. Okay, so we found some chalk. Our guy's looking uh, a little bit unnerved and not very well. Let's explore the school. We're not going to peek outside this time. You went in the damp smelling sports ring. You know, it's a backpack on the swimming board. Oh, uh, yeah, go for it. And at the pool, suddenly you realize the water turns murky. Oh, no. Prepare for combat. What's in the water? A bloated figure emerges. I'm, I'm nervous. Every time this comes up, I'm nervous about what we're going to see. 
Oh look, it's a sweaty fat man. Which is in its own right quite unnerving. It's a bloated teacher. Um, uh, yeah, I wish we had a weapon of some kind. Uh, let's just kick him a load. Okay, um, he's really hurting us. But we're doing okay. I think the problem is, is that the... There we go. I think the idea of the ritual or the spiritual actions is that you kind of need to work it out. But the problem is, is I feel quite panicked, so I keep messing it up. Um... Right, you copy the sigil as best you can. Maybe we got the sigil wrong before. I didn't realise we... Let's have a look. I think I got the sigil wrong, you know. Right, that's the sigil. So I don't think I realised that before. Let's go back. We'll co that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Which, which one is it? Let's have another look. Right, it's like a little triangle with a triangle squiggly line through it, like a little face line. So this, that's right, little triangle. That's the right line. Is the triangle the wrong way? The triangle's the wrong way up. Aha! That's, there we go, that's the right sigil. We could do quite well here. I think we solved what happened, what went wrong last time. Oh, it's creepy face. It's creepy sweaty, sweaty face. Let's, oh no. Die. Oh, I don't like it. Let's keep going. Uh, the sound of scissors is getting harder. We must hurry. We are hurrying. What was that? The fact that things just pop up every now and then. Okay. Uh, closer. Oh, no. Doll isn't a doll. Tiny black spider's free. Oh it's, oh, it's so unnervingly creepy, isn't it? Okay, everything's ready for the ritual. Perform the ritual. Wait, what's that? Now, we got the shape right this time. So I think we did everything right. So is this going to be different? Now is your chance. Prepare for combat. Am I beautiful? No, maybe it's not different. Maybe she's got... Oh, maybe she's got less damage now? Maybe she's got... Maybe we've got an advantage here in some way. Uh, spells. Uh, Cauterize. Two stamina, one time only. Okay, it heals. Let's give it a go. There we go. And then let's punch her as much as physically possible. Right, she stabbed us, which is never good. Let's punch her some more. Punch and kick. We can do... No, we can't. Oh, no. Yep, we're dead. Look at the blood coming out of our head behind this. Is it? Okay, close. Okay. Should we do that one more time? We'll have a go at that one more time. I'm enjoying it. I wish it didn't close after you lose. But I'm, I want to try again. I want to try again. It's an interesting premise. I lo I'm enjoying it. No, I don't want to play that. I've clicked on the wrong thing. Um, this is why I didn't want to have to go through my menus. I will have put up a lovely picture for you to look at whilst this is going on. Because I can't be bothered to pause. Um... If I can, yeah. I find that Game Pass, I don't know if anyone else finds this, but Game Pass seems to make things run really laggily. Laggily? Laggy. You, you know, they run laggily. Laggy. I don't know, is that a word, laggily? Doesn't sound like a word. But yeah, things run laggy when it comes to Game Pass. We'll have one last go, last time. Let's go for it. Last run. Uh, Randomised, two bit. Cool, okay, let's go. Um, okay, uh... Right, so there's a lot more to this. Let's do a quick play. Something strange is happening. Things are terrorising seaside. Technological progress. Eldritch. Horror. Armed with clues and spells. Okay. Media reports on various people with seemingly supernatural skills. Could it have any connection with the news about stars disappearing? Could be. Old God Rule. Casting spells raises doom. Backstory World of Horror. All unlocked perk cards. Random item statistics. Okay. Oh, we're her now. Hi. Welcome. Okay. It's main game screen. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, no, we'll just we'll just wing it. We'll just wing it. You heard a new spell, Kanafa Ritual. Well, that's a bit of luck, isn't it? What does that do? When your ally dies, a random status gets raised by one. Well, that's good, isn't it? 
Okay, let's go to the lighthouse. Ominous lighthouse is closed down. Let's enter it. I want to see creepy stuff. Multiple padlocks. You need five keys. Oh, okay. Leave. Let's go home then. Oh, check your mailbox. It's empty. Oh, why is that one moving then? That was eerie. Oh, hello. You're not currently investigating any weird mystery. Recent newspaper clippings and notes in the next room should point you in the next direction. Okay, choose an action. Start a new mystery. Go back to the town screen. Take a bath. Let's watch TV. Local police are finding people getting their throats slashed. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Can we change channels? No. TV host is gutting a big octopus. There are way too many tentacles. They're, yeah, it's quite an eldritch, creepy world, isn't it? Peek through the peephole. Someone is standing in the shadow watching your doorstep. Of course they are. Of course they are. Uh, let's change clothes. Um, do you want to change clothes? What's that? You find some money in the figurine. Oh, cool. So we can interact with the world a little bit. Okay, interesting. Um, gym clothes, teacher's pet, captain. Are we in that then? Uh, gym clothes, sackling. Let's, let's stay in what we're in. We, we look cool. Uh, oh, what's this? Light switch. Weird, nothing happens. Okay. I could leave something to charge here. Okay, start a new mystery. Mobile events plaguing your town. You mark down five of them. Tackle these five ministry mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your decisions will haunt you. Okay. Um, let's go with Macabre Memoir of Morbid Mermaids. Sounds good. Janet was obsessed with mermaids. He's collected every scrap of the legend. As mind has snapped, he's decided to make time of his own using the bodies of unfortunate students. Oh, of course he has. Of course he has. Investigate the circled location. Okay. Right, so let's go to downtown. Investigate downtown. Run into a missing girl. Find a little girl crying when she asks what wrong she says she can't find her mummy. You spot the girl's address on her backpack. Uh, let's take her home. You offer to take her home when you get there and tell five mummies to door in your face. Charming. Okay, the little girl calmly tells you that she can take it from here. Oh, that's creepy. So the little girl was evil. Okay. Um, police station, manage combat encounters, item storage, cost doom to enter. Okay, let's investigate downtown. Let's go to the restaurant. Any metro line in your town connects to the university and the science complex. You could ride to gain some time, but you've got a feeling something is wrong. Where all the people decide to walk? Walking to your destination takes time. Okay. Right, so we need to investigate the school now. Let's go. Oh, this is a trophy case. Let's try it. Break the window. Break the glass, you cut yourself. Metal isn't made of gold, but you better sell it. Well, that's alright then. Um, so we need to carry on investigating the school. Can't see anything. Maybe someone saw someone from the swim team. Okay. Yeah, it's it's interesting. It's generally quite freaky. Why is it suddenly so dark outside? There's blood on the wall as well. Black smog emerging from the courtyard. Uh, observe the smog. By the time you realise, into a giant hand, it's too late, crashes through the glass. Oh. Cheers, smog! Oh, who's that? Find a notebook. Detailed notes about the swimming club and mermaids. Who is that? Can we not, can we not talk to him? Okay, travel to morbid school. <laughs> okay. Thought it already was pretty morbid. Okay. Yeah, that is quite morbid. Cover your mouth. Uh, so you retreat. Fuck a seagulls outside. Viciously attack the windows. Okay. Who the kid that may be? They seem really obsessed with mermaids. You find the plan of the town sewer system. Of course you do. Discovered moving company. Been almost a year since your friend moved away. Recently, he apologised. Asked you to remove the furniture from his flat. He wants to sell it. You find a key. Okay. Yeah. Might as well. Find another letter around the wardrobe, it explains the reason you left was that the shadow people were stalking him. Okay, oh and you haven't seen the guy's face, that's quite creepy. Okay. Cool. These teeth are freaking me out. Um something wrong here, weird apathy is affected. Every adult you ask can help, you have to deal with it alone. You investigate the seaside location twice to complete this event. Okay. Stop right there, you won't destroy my life's work. Is this the mermaid man? Oh, yep, that's Mermaid Man, it must be. 
He's a creepy mermaid fella. Let's kick him a few times. Nope. Enemy roars in rage. It's okay. We can get him. Hooray! Prepare the Sir Primer school map and suddenly dawns on you. School basement. Oh, yeah. Would have been the first place I would have checked, to be honest, but I wouldn't have gone, because I'm too much of a coward. So was the obsessed man just a creeper? Oh, it's her. Let's help her. Luck check. Oh, no. The rancid smell of formalin almost makes you drop the jar. Should fetuses have so many legs? Lovely. There's no turning back now. God, let's hope she is all right. Uh, investigate. Morbid school location. You bust through the door, but it's too late. The latest missing girl is lying on the dirty mattress. A tail of a fish has been sewed in place of her legs. She was too weak and died. Maybe you'll do. Oh, good. So I think over the Janet Evans have a bloody axe. Oh, bloody axe. Uh, substitute teacher. Oh, they're all like this, aren't they? Right, kick him. He's got a lot of health. I think he might beat us, you know. Can we run away? Can we run away? Support actions. Look for an improvised weapon. Let's try it. Found a new item. Branch. Oh. Okay, so we've got a weapon. Um, there was a little damage dealt during this turn. Yep, let's do that. And then let's hit him with our branch. Have we not equipped our branch? Uh, okay. Where's our, where is our branch? I should really have read the tips, shouldn't I? But it's okay, it's okay, we can make this work. Branch! Aha! There we go. Equip! And let's hit him with the branch. Yeah, that's more like it. Oh, he stabbed us in the head. We will die at the beginning of your next encounter. Oh no. Three damage. Um, strong attack. Might as well try it, I guess. Well, we're dead. Oh, maybe we're not dead. Okay. Thought we were dead there, to be honest. We must be dead now. No, apparently not. Okay, beat him with a branch. Hooray! Got blood all over our face, and I thought we were dead, but... Pick up his axe and using it as a crutch, you try to leave the room. Injured and weakened, you so lose consciousness. Police officers find you a few hours later. No trace of the man Janet was found, but you know you will sleep a bit better knowing tonight that the other students are safe. Yeah. So, that is... Yeah, so that is World of Horror. It's interesting, seems pretty fun, albeit pretty creepy, and I'm definitely going to play a bit more of it. If you do want to try it out, it is on the Xbox Game Pass at the moment. Definitely give it a go. It looks like a lot of fun, albeit horrible, scary, slightly unnerving fun. But definitely give it a go. If you have liked this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It really helps out. And hopefully I'll catch you again very, very soon. Thank you guys and goodbye.